Hey everyone, Marty McMillan here at my shop in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and we've got a fun little comparison video for you today. Uh, one of the biggest questions that I get is rosewood or mahogany? I mean, that is the majority of the back and side woods that people generally think of when they think of high-end instruments, and I've got one of each here. Other than that, they're extremely similar instruments. They both have torrified Sitka spruce tops. Um, they're both my dreadnought models. They both have African ebony for the fretboard and the bridge. They both have brand new strings on them, very important. And uh, yeah, we just had a fun little time today going back and forth with them. Here is the Indian rosewood back and sides. Real nice straight grain on that one. And here's a really nice set of genuine mahogany for this guy. And generally I tell my customers that uh, the differences that I hear is that with the East Indian rosewood, it's a more dense wood. So that tends to give it a little bit larger of a tonal palette and a more focused low end and high end. And with the Honduran mahogany, it's definitely going to be a little bit more open, a little bit more woofy, and definitely more mid-range punching through. Um, we got Josh Washam upstairs in the studio right now, and he's going to go back and forth and pick through the rosewood, then pick through the mahogany playing the same thing. And uh, we'll let your ears decide. Let us know what you think. Let's head on up and check it out. Thanks, Josh. That was awesome. And let us know in the comments, are you more of a rosewood guy or mahogany guy, or do you just got to have both like me? Thanks for watching and have a great day.